Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Jules and we are doing a makeup from Dollar General haul and get ready. So I'm gonna test out some of these um, makeup products that I got from Dollar General. And I got, I think, pretty much a good amount of products. So I guess we can just go ahead and jump right in. And I guess we can do like a chit chat while I'm getting ready also. So um, I'm gonna start off with primer. And I'm gonna use, this is, all this makeup is from the brand Believe Beauty. So I'm going to start off with the primer. This is Pretty and Primed Stay Put Makeup Primer. So you guys, whoops, just made a mess, a little liquidy. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand and then I'm going to rub it in. There's a little bit of a scent to it. So, um, today's Friday, and next week, on Tuesday, I'm getting my breast implants removed. So, I may not upload, I may upload, I don't know yet, um, still depends on how long it takes me to heal to get them removed and everything but I'm gonna take this skin finish foundation it's medium to full coverage and it's in the color toffee hope that's what you mean. so um like I was saying I'm getting breast implants removed and pretty nervous not gonna lie and um I'm gonna try my best to upload as much as I can and try to stay busy if I can. Depending on what can I do and what can I not do. I uh, remember when I got them in, I wasn't able to um, do as much, but when I went to the doctor this past, this week on Tuesday, she told me that it's a pretty simple and small surgery, so it's probably going to take a um, shorter time to heal. So, If you guys are interested in like, well, I'll probably film it anyway, my, um, my recovery process. This is two pumps. Mm -hmm. And all this makeup was like $5 and under, so it was very, very affordable. And it's pretty much like a full face of makeup that I got. I'm gonna add one more pump. So yeah, other than um, my surgery coming up, I'm not doing too much. I'm trying to film and edit, like, you know, trying to get out there. So the reason um, why I'm getting my breast implants removed is because one of them did not drop into the pocket that it's supposed to go in. There's a, a pocket up under that's supposed to have the implant drop into. 
and it didn't drop into this one did and as you could tell this one sits up a little bit higher than this one so it's kind of like I don't think you guys can see but I'm wearing a sports bra I usually always wear a sports bra just because of the support but um, right here it's bulging out a little bit so actually my breasts are lopsided one's higher than the other and I'm it's giving me a lot of pain on one side of my body so on my right side of my body it's hurting and it hurts really bad to where there's nights I cry every night like most of the nights I cry and I have to sit up in bed or I have to wear a bra to go to sleep a lot of problems and I'm just ready to get rid of them I've had them for five years so I'm ready to get rid of these breast implants um, everybody's body is different I uh, say I'm not saying don't get them I'm not saying get them I'm just saying they're not right for me and my body type I probably went a bit too big as a lot of people think I did and that was my choice if I was gonna get implants well since I got implants I wanted to go big so I went big and I'm a 30 right now I'm a 32 double D I was a 32 a so I went really big hey if you're gonna get them you might as well get big so I'm gonna go in with this concealer and it is in like beige but to each his own and I'm just really nervous about going through anesthesia and getting them removed um they said that that I could have got them removed um, with no anesthesia but who wants to do that not me so yeah this concealer is okay I'm not going for like a full glam face of makeup. I just wanted to try out these products from Dollar General. If you know me, I love makeup and I love books. Makeup and books. Two of my favorite things. Next, I'm going to go in with the Believe Beauty Matte Blur Loose Powder and Translucent. It's got a little thing on there. So, yeah, I'm just, you know. Waiting for this to be all over with. And, um, I don't know if I like this translucent powder or not. So, we'll see. I have like mixed feelings about the translucent powder. Next, I'm going to go in with, I guess I'll do brows. And I'm going to use their Brow Defining Pencil in Dark Brown. And 
they had the brush on one side and the marker or crayon on the other. And I'll just swatch it. And I'm going to do my brows off camera because it takes a while. So I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, my brows are finally done. I am not a makeup artist, so I don't know. Just I just kind of try to fill it in as best as I could and keep it moving. I like to play with makeup and experiment and make myself feel pretty so that's why I like makeup. So next I'm going to take this glowing highlight and contour palette in light medium. I think I don't know if I really like that eyebrow pencil. It's kind of hard to work with. It's really creamy so and um I really like that foundation though. I think that might have been my favorite so far. So here comes Fluffy. So I'm just gonna get a bronzer brush kind of to bronze up. I'm gonna take this shade and just put it around my face. something light and natural today. So yeah, keeping my mind occupied and trying not to stress out so much about this surgery on Tuesday. Tuesday is when I go to surgery. So... So say a little prayer for me. And then I'm just going to take a blush brush and I'm going to use this is color for the blush. I didn't get a blush. I hope this is a blush. It looks like a blush. It looks a lot. And for a little bit of some highlight, take the ne the next one, the last one over. Oh, I like the highlight. Pretty. Very pretty. I like the highlight. So I'm just going to take my finger. This is what it looks like on my finger. You guys can see that. Ooh, too much on the nose. The highlight is good. I'm liking the highlight. Yeah, I think the highlight's probably one of the best so far. And then I'm going to take this eyeshadow palette in Nearly Nude. It's like they have some very pretty colors in here. So lots of neutrals and warm colors. Never been opened. I haven't opened this yet, so. I guess I can swatch them all for you. I'm gonna start from this side 
over and then the bottom and over. So this is what the pan looks like after swatching, just so you could see if there's like kickback or something. And this is what the shades look like. I hope you guys can see that. Very pretty though. That last shade, this one up here, oh my gosh. Very pretty. Let's put it to the test on the eyes. And I'm just gonna do it, like I said, a couple shades just to keep it natural. So I'm going to take, hmm, I don't know what I'm going to take, probably this, it's not many mats in here, it might be like two, three, two or three maybe, go on with that light shade, the first one, right here. And I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. Ooh. It's too much. Fall out. Whatever. I don't like the eyeshadow. This one. Mmm. Just want something simple. We're just gonna take a shade. Let's try this one. And we're just gonna put it on the lid with my finger. Wow, this pigment. That is pretty though. I like that shade too. So I hope you guys have been enjoying my hauls, my videos, my DIYs. Let me know if you guys like the makeup. I like to play around with it. And... Okay, so this is all I'm gonna do for my eyes and for the eyeshadow and I'm just gonna add some mascara on top and I'm using the volume in, volume in eyes mascara in intense black volume in volume in okay. we're gonna see There's the wand. We're gonna test this baby out. I don't have my eyelash curler with me. It's upstairs. I'm just gonna so I just wanted something quick and quick and easy. Easy peasy. So that's after one coat and I didn't curl my eyelashes, so. And for the lips, I'm going to use, I didn't, ha I didn't get an eyeliner, I didn't get a lip pencil, so I didn't get a setting spray. What else? It is what it is. So this lipstick is in Moroccan Spice. It's a satin crush lipstick. This is the packaging. The only thing I don't like about the, with, with the Walgreens is they have that sticky, um, that sticky security sticker. And then when you take it off, it's like everything is sticky. Like the packaging, like on here. I don't like that. 
So this is what the color looks like. Very pretty. Really like this color, it's pretty. With the eyeshadows, very pretty. And then to top it off with gloss, I just got this Clearly Crystal Lip Gloss. Lustrous Shine Lip Gloss. I liked how big it was, I mean. Hmm. See if it's sticky or not. No. It's not sticky, shiny, but not sticky. So this is the final look and I really liked it and very affordable for everything I think I paid. $50, $60, something like that, $50, $60, and that's getting foundation, primer, setting powder, concealer, brow pencil, a palette that has a bronzer, highlighter, and blush, an eyeshadow palette, mascara, lip gloss, and lipstick. And that's everything. So for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For ten things, I think I paid like I said fifty dollars or so. Everything was like pretty much five dollars or under. So it tax everything like that, close to fifty dollars. And you can do pretty much a full face of makeup. For cheap so I really like how it turned out it's very it was very quick very simple um, I love it so like I said the only thing I didn't really like was maybe the translucent powder I don't think I really like the powder much and the bronzer I think I, I could have had like a darker shade of bronzer and the blush, you really can't see that much. But the highlighter was really pretty. I really like the highlighter. I really like the gloss. The foundation was really good. Really, really good. I highly recommend the foundation. Skin finish foundation. Really good. Concealer was good too. This, this almost reminds me of Milani's Conceal and Perfect. Almost. The packaging almost even looks the same, except like it has this slant here. But the other one and the applicator too. Even almost looks like the Milani. And I really like the Milani. The formula of it, it feels really good too. So those are my thoughts on the makeup from Dollar General, the brand Believe Beauty. So, guys, go check it out. All right. Have a great day, and I hope you guys like this video and subscribe. I'm pretty nervous about the intros and outros and even talking to the phone. Right now, I have a phone that I'm recording on. I will eventually get a camera and have better quality, better lighting and everything. But for right now, I'm just going to use my phone and how it goes. I hope you guys like and subscribe. Thanks.